Hi everyone, this is Peter, and in this short video I'll be demonstrating how you can roll your content across from your 11-12 unit area into your 12-13 unit area. Now for the sake of this demonstration, I'm actually going to use my sandbox area, but you, can, you will very likely be using your live 12-13 unit areas. So to get started, under the administration menu on the left, I'm going to click on the import button. Which this will take me to the option to select another unit area that I have access to in Moodle. In this instance, I'm going to select my multimedia development unit. And just to confirm we've got the right one, I will double check against the unit code. So it's MM5362, it's the 1112 instance, and it's also the September version. The 9 relates to the month that the course, the unit starts in. So I will select that and click use this course. This page allows me to select or deselect any of the assignments, labels, resources or activities that are in that unit. For the sake of this I want to bring everything across. It is worth noting that Turnitin assignments will not be brought across. As we scroll down we get some options. It's important that you choose the current course deleting it first. This is particularly relevant to the announcements forum that will be already present in your new blank areas. But if we want to replace that, it's important that we delete it first, otherwise we'll just duplicate it. It's also important that we say yes to all the files that will bring across and the topics. So now I can click continue. This is really just a confirmation screen. I can scroll straight down and click continue again. On the new screen, we'll get some confirmation of Moodle actually packing up the contents of the multimedia development unit in this instance. As I scroll down, it's I can see it's exporting all that data. I can click continue. And at this, this is the final point I can actually back out if I need to do so. It's packed up all the data and it's ready to now write all of that information to my new blank area. So I'll go ahead and click continue. So depending on how large that unit area is, this process can take a little bit longer, anywhere from, I don't know, 20 seconds up to a couple of minutes. So be patient if you've got a large area. As I scroll down, I can see all the various elements that are getting applied to my new area. It's not quite finished just yet, and I can see that down the bottom, it's not, it's not completed. So I'll just be patient and hang on a few more seconds, and some more text will appear, and a confirmation. That's great, so I can click Continue and I've returned back to my unit area. As you can see, everything's been brought across exactly how it was, even all my HTML blocks. At this point, it's really important that you firstly check the dates associated with the unit start. So here we've got the 23rd of August for the, for the unit start date. That might not be accurate, so you can go into the administration panel and click on settings in order to go in and change those dates. It's also really important that you edit any assignments that have dates associated with them. Sometimes we have quizzes or formative submission boxes that the dates will now be uh, wrong, basically. So that just about sums up the actual rollover process. If you do need to give other colleagues access to this area, you would do that in the same way as normal, and that's through the staff access web form. If you have any problems with any of this, please contact your e-learning support officer.